Oh, no, no doubt the obedient movement helped me to win. All of it helped me to win. That's what I was telling you. That is a combination of many factors. Oh, yes, it certainly helped me to win. Abuja was completely obedient from the beginning. It was. And I must say that the obedient movement also came to look for me to be their senatorial candidate. So I must have reflected some of their ideals or they wouldn't have done so. Oh, I believe in the movement and I think Nigeria needs it. Now, whether all uh, we, we can achieve everything in 2023, that needs to be seen. But that is a movement and one that will continue and one that I intend to build and continue to build in the FCT. There's no doubt about that. Okay, well, hopefully that'll put all the, all, all the inquiries to rest for the moment. But, I mean, broadly speaking, I mean, you clearly are a well-educated woman. You come from a very well-respected family. I mean, um, you, you, you are someone who clearly um, inspired people in the federal capital territory but for you personally how inspiring a moment is this as you prepare to take your seat in the senate well i'm treating it as something that there's a lot of work to be done and um obviously i am pleased and i i feel I, I suspected that the obedient movement was strong enough in the FCT that we would win, that we would win with s such a big margin. I did not truly expect, but I knew that we would win. And what does it mean? I know there's a lot of work to be done in the FCT, and therefore I'm treating it with a lot of seriousness and um, responsibility to ensure that I get as much done in this four years.